Okay guys, here we go with another fun lesson. Um, so today we're going to be doing an acrylic pour. We're going to be creating something that looks kind of like this. It is super satisfying and a lot of fun and so easy. So I'm going to walk you through the steps. To begin with, we're going to need a canvas, something to protect the table, something to mix the paints in, our yellow, red, black, and white paints, and everyone is going to be getting some pouring medium. This is going to help us get the consistency that we need and get the nice effect that we want for our acrylic pour. So the first thing that I'm going to have you do is to plan out how much paint we're going to be using. So go ahead and take your acrylic tube of paint and let's just make four circles on your white palette plate. This is going to help us get the right amount of um, color and the right amount of pouring medium. So now you can take your pouring medium and since you can see, hopefully you can see, the circle that I made, I'm going to fill that circle with pouring medium and it looks like it's spreading just a little bit bigger than my circle and that's okay. So I'm going to put the pouring medium aside and take my black and really what I'm doing is I'm just actually tinting the pouring medium using my acrylic paint. So I'm going to add about one third black to two thirds pouring medium or maybe one quarter black acrylic to three quarters um, pouring medium. And then I'm going to take my stick and it helps me when I'm um, mixing this in, it helps me to tip up my plate just a little bit. Don't get crazy, don't over tip because we don't want it to slop onto your desk or onto the floor or onto your lap, that would be bad. So I'm going to mix up my black paint into my pouring medium and then I'm going to literally pour this onto my canvas. Try to get off as much as you can. And this is going to be our background. Just like that, okay? So now I can take my paper towel and wipe off my stick. And I can take my palette knife and smooth it out. Now, what you want to kind of do is have a thin layer of black with the pouring medium all over your canvas. So try to keep it on your canvas and you can take your palette knife and smooth it. Now, if you press down hard on your palette knife, you'll end up scraping off all of the paint. We really don't want to do that because we don't want to see the canvas. We want to smooth it and I'm actually not scraping the canvas at all. I'm kind of like just hovering my palette knife so that it is on top of the paint so that I get this thin layer. It's like icing a cake. I get this thin layer of paint all over my canvas. like that. You want it to be kind of smooth. Oops. There we go. Awesome. Now you can take your palette knife, wipe it down. It's so convenient because we're not using brushes for the acry acrylic pores. So you don't have to do a lot of washing, but you do want to kind of keep your palette knife um, somewhat clean. All right. So now I'm going to rotate this around. 
So the next color that I'm going to work with is red. It's the darkest color of the three colors that I'm using on top of the black. I'm going to take my pouring medium and I'm going to squeeze enough to fill the, um, ooh, and I did a little bit more than I needed to, it's okay, to fill my circle and then two hits like ketchup and give myself again. You don't actually have to use very much acrylic paint because um, you're just using it to tint or to color your pouring medium. Okay, so there we go. And now I can take this and I can do a lot of different things. I can pour it, I can um, have like little dots of red. I can have lines of red. It actually doesn't matter. It's going to turn out beautiful, whatever you do. I do kind of like the idea, instead of having just one big blob of red, I like to have little blobs all over if I can. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the yellow. We're going to take our pouring medium. We're going to pour, try not to overdo it this time, just the same amount as fills my little circle that I drew. And two hits. Open up the lid, squeeze in some mustard. Ooh, this, we should name this one. We should name it Hot Dog. Oh, yes, it could be Hot Dog because of the ketchup and the mustard. See what I did there? Okay, so we have some yellow mixed in with our pouring medium. And we're just going to dribble that all over. And you can get really specific and careful and you can uh, drip like um, dots inside of the red if you want. It doesn't really matter. You can go on top of the area that's black. It already looks pretty good, but you just wait. It's going to get so much better. Okay. There. Now, I'm gonna do one more color, and that's my white. Put in a circle worth, maybe just a hair more, of pouring medium. And now, I'm gonna use my titanium white. Two hits, open it up, squeeze it in. Well, if red is ketchup and yellow is mustard, white would be, hmm, I don't know, what do you think? Marshmallows does not sound appetizing on a hot dog. <laughs> mm, tartar sauce? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Okay, get that all mixed in, and we're going to drip it all over the canvas. Okay. Okay guys, this is the fun part. Now this part can be a little bit tricky. It can get a little bit messy. So I want you to be really careful about keeping this um, on top of your desk area and don't hold it over your lap because if it does fall, I just don't want you to get um, paint all over yourselves. 
So if you hold it by the two opposite corners and then pick it up and then you're gently going to tip it and tip it a different way and then you can tip it side to side and as you keep doing this it's going to start um, to run in and move the paint around so that the paint interacts. Now, when wherever you tip it, keep an eye on the down side because at some point it'll start to run off if you're not careful. So I tend to tip it until it's it almost looks like it's going to run off and when it gets to that edge I stop tipping it that direction and I'll go ahead and tip it back a different direction see this is kind of what we're looking for layers of colors that interact with each other and kind of start to look like um, layers of rock or cool things like that. So you can tip it to the side, to the corner. You're just going to let those colors move around. That's really looking neat. I love that in there. Oh, I love this in here. So you can decide at what point you're happy with how it's mixing and blending on your canvas. And the more that you keep tipping it, the more interaction you'll have between the colors. And at whatever point you're happy with how it looks, that's when you can stop. Even though we're all using the same colors, yours is going to look unique and as special as you because how you lay the color down and then how you tip the canvas is going to determine your own design. So that's an acrylic pour. Great job, guys. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.